What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Ultimate Autographs Live Break page. How's everybody doing on this uh, Wednesday afternoon? We got some box breaks uh, lined up for you guys. Thank you guys for joining us here in the UA Live Break Room. Donnie Rollins here. We got Joe in the room here to my right. Garrett is working on the uh, on the list and stuff, getting that going, but he is uh, behind the scenes today. So Garrett's not in the room, but he is joining us in spirit. Uh, Joe has joined us uh, in the room. Joe, thank you for being here with us. What's going on, Danny? How are you? How's Good. everything going? We're excited to be here. We got uh, some knockout boxing gloves. We got the complete NFL jerseys that we are wrapping up. We have two of those boxes left. We have our final three Bills Mafia platinum helmet boxes. We have the complete NFL helmet boxes as well that we are wrapping up, coming to a close here very soon. Guys, thank you for all your support here for the UA Live Breaks. First thing we're going to do is get into our dice roller for this afternoon dice roller and the dice roller according to the ua live break room rules has to be what joe six or higher that is correct joe six or higher let's see what we got for this afternoon there's a six five plus one is a six guys let's get into it for this afternoon first thing we're going to do is a knockout boxing glove evan fix william ginley james s jason makowski ryan berge and jazz jimenez let's get into it Guys, if you'd like to give me a box number for the boxing glove, we will roll. Big news in the sports community today, and we'll get into that after this first break. Something we have to talk about uh, and uh, see what everyone... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I randomized that before we started. Uh, this is a top spot wins break, so... Uh, I shouldn't have done that yet. I'm sorry. Hot start. Hot start already randomized. Shouldn't have... But this is a top spot wins break. We open the box and then we randomize. So we'll hit the randomizer after we open up that box. I'm just so pr I'm so used to randomizing. <laughs> it's just like a natural thing for me. All right. Let's see what we got. We got boxing gloves. We have numbers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If we do not have a box number, we will randomize the boxes. We will randomize the box numbers to get our first boxing glove break for this afternoon. Five boxes in the room. Let's get into the randomizer. And here we go. We should randomize these first and not the, uh, <laughs> not the names. That wouldn't make sense. Here we go. Box number 11. Box number 11. All right. Guys, good luck and thank you for the fill on our boxing glove break number one. The knockout series. Uh, MD Cap says, will the next batch of boxes have different headliners? MD Cap, the answer is yes. Every single series that we release has some different headliners in it. Uh, typically ones that we name the series after and the Platinums and uh, the Wooden Crate boxes, things like that. We have complete NFL boxes uh, in terms of black box products and the black box jerseys, which are always called complete NFL series, but there's always different headliners represented in those products. Here we go. Knockout number 11. And like I said, guys, we will randomize the list after we open this up because this is a top spot wins break. Top spot wins. Let's do it. And uh, a little bit of big news for us. We have a new card product in the room today. We have Tops. That is Tops uh, Tier 1. Tops Tier 1 Baseball has been listed for breaks. If you guys are interested in jumping in on that, two autograph cards and one relic per box. That's a fun product. Tops Tier 1 Baseball. Jovan, what's going on, man? Here we go. First break of the afternoon. We have a JSA COA. And our glove is going to be. This is an awesome. It's a name I recognize a little bit just because it's a historical one. This is Mickey Irish Ward. Mickey Irish Ward. Or Irish Mickey Ward. You even got the inscription of Irish on top of the name. Joe, you know a little bit about this guy? Well, you got me a Mickey Ward. Got you on that one? 
do. I know Irish Mickey War, I believe that I want to say Cinderella Man, the movie, was made after. Is that right? There was a Great Depression. That could be wrong. I should know him because he's my age. He's, uh, <laughs> he's in that 50 plus. Well, let's uh, let's look him up. Let's see if we can get some info on him. Joe, if you could. Yeah. All right, let's, let's get the winner for this one, and then we'll talk a little bit about Irish Mickey Ward. That name sounds so incredibly familiar. We'll get some more info. Let's see what we got. Six times on the dice roll for this. Six times. Here we go. Five. And number six, our top spot is Evan Fix. Evan Fix is our winner for the Irish Mickey Ward. I want to say it was that boxing movie. You, you are correct, Donnie. I want to say it was the boxing yep. movie with... Uh, the fighter with Mark... Come on, come on, come on. Good-looking guy, young guy, younger than me, older than you, Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. So it wasn't the Great Depression him. guy. Pardon? No, I was thinking of the wrong. I was thinking of Cinderella Man. Was yeah, the, the first Fighter movie. was the movie. The Fighter. But yeah, he was a, uh, a light a welterweight. Light welterweight Irish Mickey Ward. That's a really cool hit. It's got That's some sweet. historical and uh, some movie background mm -hmm. as well, which is really cool. Irish Mickey Ward, first item. Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bale. That's interesting. Well, thank you, Garrett Campbell, from the chat. Ah, Canyon says James Braddock was the Cinderella Man. That's a movie I watched in, like, history class <laughs> because they wanted us to get a better feel for what it was like during the Great Depression. All right, JSA COA for that one. Evan, great hit. Irish Mickey Ward. Mark Wahlberg. Hey, he is a good-looking guy. That is right, true. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. James Braddock. That was a good movie. I don't know if you've ever seen Cinderella Man. Not. Oh, fantastic. Let's look up The Fighter. The Fighter. Two thousand ten film, The yeah. Fighter. Russell directed by David O. Russell. Got a ninety percent on Rotten Tomatoes. There you go. If you guys are movie buffs, you know Rotten mm -hmm. Tomatoes is a very highly praised movie room review system, mm -hmm. and uh, Rotten Tomatoes is the toughest one to get high scores in. Rotten Tomatoes. Really cool. Really cool. Irish Mickey Ward. You know what? I've seen this movie. You have your weekend viewing now set up for uh, <laughs> you have to watch the Corrent, the, the Fighter. The Fighter. Evan, you definitely have to watch that. Right. If you won the boxing glove, you got to have a story behind it. <laughs> it would be cool to frame that piece with like a Mark Wahlberg from the movie. Ah, That'd be pretty sweet. Sweet. I wonder if Shane could do that. Probably could. That might be a really cool idea, Evan. All right, so we have some news here. So, so uh, Joe, I'm going to rattle off some statistics for this specific player, okay? And uh, you're going to let me know overall who you think this player is and uh, if you think this player has the credentials to make it into the Hall of Fame, okay? Uh, we have a player that threw for 63,440 yards in his career. He threw for 421 touchdowns. He has a career uh, completion percentage of 64%, and his QB record is 134 and 106, drafted in 2004 to the San Diego Chargers. Like, that might have given it away, <laughs> but that is. That's, that's a Hall of Famer. You think so? I do. Okay. I... I it's, it, we're not talking about a uh, former Bears quarterback because that's that's not what Bears quarterbacks do. Right. I know who you're talking about. Right. I that's, think someone in the chat knows who you're talking we, about. We had someone already guess it. <laughs> Canyon was correct. That is Philip Rivers. Yeah. Philip Rivers retires today. Yes. It's uh, January twentieth, inauguration day. He decides I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it all. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it easy. Uh, fun fact about Philip Rivers: he has nine children. Nine children. So you made a funny joke before we started. Uh, Philip will, Philip will be back in, in about two months after he, after he hangs out with the with the kids for for a whole two months. He's like, yeah, you know what, man, I should I should get back to camp. <laughs> These guys are waiting for me. Philip Rivers is uh, is calling it quits from the NFL. What a great career! Uh, awesome guy. He was kind of like a kind of like a, an unorthodox quarterback. His his style was a little bit unorthodox, and he talked a lot of trash. Some of yes. my favorite Philip Rivers trash talk 
can be found you know on the internet and stuff. But I love yes. love listening to Philip Rivers trash talk. It's great. Yeah, he's thirty nine and he retires upright, which you know with with all his senses. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, so good he, point. He never went to a Super Bowl, right? But he was a eight time Pro Bowler, so yeah, never there, made the Super Bowl, but Pro Bowl quarterback. Joe thinks. He's a Hall of Famer. I do. Now I want to hear your guys. Um, want to hear your guys' input on whether or not you think the uh, the Philip Rivers campaign is a Hall of Fame one. Do you think so, Donnie? Um, you know, for Hall of Fame stuff, I always look at championships. Yeah. I don't know why. It's something about something about I, like I just you. championships, and I think certain guys. Offset that like a Barry Sanders, obviously sure. Hall of Famer, never made it. You know, wasn't surrounded by the team. Uh, Philip Rivers wasn't a very successful post-game quarterback, so I think that that is important to look mm-hmm. at when you look at Hall of Fame stats. I don't, I don't know. I want to say yes eventually. I don't think he'll be a first ballot I agree. Hall of Famer. I agree. Uh, he's going to be sort of like the Pat, the Peanut Tillman, get a Hall of Very Good. For quite some time, and then he'll eventually get in, but he won't be a Hall of Fame at first. Eight, eight time Pro Bowler. Eight time Pro Bowl. Yeah, that's eight the stat time. for me. That's a great and, and stat. And the longevity. Great stat. That's that's exactly right. He played uh, from 2004 to 2020. You know, he was a starter, played uh, almost 16 games a year for the last 14 years. So his first two years in San Diego, he played two games. And then after that, he played 16 for every single season he was in the NFL. Do you remember who he backed up his first two years? It would be Drew Brees. Yes. It would be Drew Brees. Yes. It would be Drew Brees. Uh, we got some questions here. We got, I'm Pat McAfee's show before the season. He said when he does retire, he has already taken the job as a high school coach in Alabama. That's pretty cool. Um, he's not a first ballot. That man used to abuse J.J. Watt in the trash talk. He had balls. <laughs> <laughs> he did. I saw a video of he would, he would give J.J. Watt some pretty good trash talk. Uh, Jovan says, who's in the knockout boxing gloves? I'm thinking about buying one. Do you have extra? Jovan, we have plenty, and they are listed over on the website right now in the mystery box tab, and we also have breaks available as a top spot wins break over on the UA Live Breaks tab. Headliners for that series, we have uh, Floyd Mayweather, which we pulled. We have uh, the other one was... Riddick Bowe? Uh, Riddick Bowe wasn't a headliner. Okay. We have Mike Tyson in that series, still available. Uh, and then we had... The guy we, uh, our, uh, Roberto Duran, we pulled him. He was the headliner. And uh, Sugar Ray Leonard is another headliner to go along with Floyd Mayweather, which we pulled. So five headliners out of 20. Pretty good odds to pull a headliner in that series. Jovan, if you'd like to purchase a personal, uh, let me know and give me your box number. It goes all the way up to number 20. And we started at number 10 for today. So anywhere from 10 to 20, we've got you covered. But minus 11. Minus 11. Cannon Schuster says, you can't judge off of rings, and that's due to NFL players not getting rings for not even taking a snap. Good point. Very good point. Uh, Grace and I emailed Ops Team. Okay. <coughs> Hit me right here. Okay. Grace, and email me quick, and I'll, I'll give you some info on how we're distributing that UA cash. Got you covered. I snagged that Duran not to sidetrack. What movie do I have to watch again? I missed the break for the glove I won. Uh, that will be the fighter, the fighter. The Fighter with Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. You gotta watch it now that you have the item. You got it, Grayson. I'll get you taken care of. All right, let's go through what we have listed right now. We have the Bills Mafia two box break, but that is five spots left. We have the knockout boxing glove number two with two spots remaining. We have the complete helmet number one, four spots left to go. Jersey number two, five spots left, and no spots taken on jersey number one. So we are rolling right along here in the UA live breaks. Let's see what we can do. going on in the sports world? Nothing really. 
Nothing really important. Or nothing really special. Really? Biggest news is Deshaun Watson on the move. I don't know where he's going to end up. I mean, every day it seems like. I mean, how about Indianapolis for Deshaun Watson? Yeah, they need, they need a quarterback. Wow. <laughs> if Watson ends up in Indianapolis, that is a Super Bowl contending team, in my opinion. Absolutely. They've got the running game. They've Absolutely. got the offensive line. They've got the, the defense. defense. Yep. Now, I don't think Phillip Rivers was hindering them that much in terms of their progress. They ran into a very good yeah. Buffalo Bills, Bills team. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, man, if they could pull Watson, that is a superstar team. Jonathan yes. Taylor, Mar- uh, Marlon Mack will be back next year for them, who's another sp- outstanding Hopefully, running back right. for them. The Achilles. Uh, he, did, he did tear his Achilles yeah. earlier in the year, which sucks. Because he was he was really good last year when he got snaps. Uh, I thought they could have been this year, honestly, Grace, and I agree. I didn't think there was anything stopping that team, uh, kind of but themselves. But uh, they did run into a very good Bills team. Uh, Matt Salas says George Springer to the Blue Jays. That is big. Yes, game. yes, that is stupid. George Springer to the Blue Jays. Let's look up his contract details really quick. Yeah, Blue Jays spending some cash this off season. Good for them. Yeah, they got Michael Brantley as well. Busy, this headline from ESPN says, Busy Toronto Blue Jays add Michael Brantley after George Springer deal. Let's, the Jays reached an agreement on six-year, $150 million contract with former Astros center fielder George Springer on Tuesday night. Sources confirmed to ESPN's Jeff Passan. Wow. Six years, $150 million bucks. Played for Toronto Blue Jays, who are a good team. I mean... They've got yeah. some good young prospects as well. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., mm-hmm. uh, Bo Bichette, Kevin Biggio, mm-hmm. son of, of, of Craig Biggio. Yep. They've got some decent prospects in that organization now to go along with George Springer and Michael Brantley. That is a star-studded team now in one day. So, yep. man, wouldn't it be great to be an MLB player? <laughs> that is an unbelievable... Yeah, a free agent MLB player. Who is good. Yes. Yes, all right. I mean, unbelievable potential in the MLB for contracts and negotiations. And if you've got the right agent, you can make a ton of money <laughs> in the MLB. I mean, we saw Bryce Harper's record-breaking deal two off-seasons ago. Mm-hmm. Two off-seasons ago, it was like $500 million or something <laughs> stupid. Um, I think Chris Bryant is, is owning up for a big deal very soon. Won't be with the Cubs. Chris probably Bryant not. probably not going to sign a big... Uh, big deal with the Cubs but uh man I'll tell you if you if you've got a talented kid baseball <laughs> baseball's the way to push way to push that uh Vinny great question if you don't feel the break for noon will it go off tonight Vinny that's a great question the answer is yes uh the breaks that do not fill in the afternoon or the night just get pushed back until the next UA live break for this instance uh, the afternoon break will get pushed back until tonight's 8 p.m. Central Standard with Garrett. Uh, Garrett will be back here in the house breaking the Wednesday night. Uh, Canyon says, can you see if my name went through on the glove? I didn't get an email, and I usually do when. Yeah, I can check that. Uh, knockout number two. Canyon. I don't see you on here, Canyon. Do not see you on here. Yeah, Kenya, we don't see an order from you either. If we don't re-sign Allen and franchise tag him, I'll be... I mean, he deserves it. (laughs) He absolutely deserves... Josh Allen deserves that franchise tag. He deserves a ton of money. He's going to get a ton of money. And uh, he is going to be big time for the Bills in the next five years. I mean, he's... Well, this is year three for Josh this Allen? Is, this is his third year. And AFC Championship, all it took was a little bit of Stephon Diggs, which <laughs> is very helpful for anybody. Uh, Christian Gonzalez says, I got knockout number two as well. No problem, Christian. We are getting that list updated as we speak right now. Garrett, behind the scenes right now, is hammering out some details, and we'll have that list updated in just a moment. Man, $150 million for six years. Let's see what Brantley's, Brantley's contract is. He's Brantley's 33. Uh, 46 games with the Astros in 2020, alternating between left field and DH. Brantley hit 300 with five homers and 22 RBIs. Wow. Michael Brantley has hit at least 305 seasons since 2014, with four others for the most such seasons in baseball in that time span. Uh, This is a great stat for Brantley. 
He has also struck out in just 10% of his plate appearances, appearances since 2014. Yeah, that's little, good. Yeah, a little more old school player where yeah. you know contact doesn't seem to be as valued as sure. it was years ago, good point. Uh, five ten years ago. But uh, but Brantley's just he's a professional hitter. That's very interesting because you make a great point that you know people are kind of going for the homers. Yeah, it, everyone's kind of a power hitter in this day and age. Um, but this is very old school type player. Um, it says. After the 10 percent of his plate appearances since 2014, that is the third best in baseball in that time mm. span. Evan says, "I hate that argument that Allen is only great case of digs. Like if that's your point, that Mahomes is worse than Nathan Peterman." <laughs> <laughs> Good point. I mean, it certainly helped. It certainly helped bringing Stefan Diggs. I don't think he's great just because Stefan Diggs. I think it certainly helped his greatness. <laughs> I think that Josh Allen showed promise last year, showed being successful last year, uh, but it did help a thousand percent to bring on Stefan Diggs. Let's do knockout number two. This is the uh, this is the list that we've got. We've got Christian Gonzalez in here. We do not see uh, Canyon. Canyon, we don't see it in this one. I didn't get an email. Yeah, if it, if you uh, if you have an order number, that would be fantastic. Yeah, Evan, I don't think that. I don't think Canyon is great just because of Diggs. All right. Here we go. Knockout number two. Guys, thank you for the fill. If you guys in the break would like to give us a box number on January 20, 2021, 25 USD was pre authorized for a person in card if it isn't completed. Usually within a day. That's weird. PayPal hates me. Canyon, that's very interesting. It may be. Uh, it may be one of those, uh, how do I word that? It was, uh, it's like a verification purchase. Does that make, it's like a, it's like a check. It's like a credit check for that. Um, Canyon, I want you to do me a favor. I'll give you the, the rundown. There's a, there's a, an explanation I have for you, Canyon. Uh, nothing that you did wrong. It's just once in a while, the system does like a, a check for certain purchases uh, to make sure that they're valid. If you've changed your address recently, that's what happens sometimes. Um, but yeah, kick me an email. We'll go over it again, and, and we'll make sure that the, the money should be back to you within you know 24 to 48 hours. We've seen it before. Joe Long, here we go, number 11. Number 11, Joe Long. Thanks for calling out the box number. Let's see what we got. Number 11, we do not have. We pulled that in the first break. Number 13. Number 13. Probably update my list. So we have 10, 12, 14 left. All right, guys, we open up the box and we get our winner. Top spot wins. 13 of 20. Here we go. Good luck. Let's see what we got for box 13 of 20. Evan says, no, I'm not at a king. You, just people who make... <laughs> Ooh, big hit. Headliner hit. One of the uh, coolest uh, COAs as well. I cannot show it. It's got his name on it, but you guys will like it when you see it. You guys may know him for his uh, his household cooking accessories <laughs> these days. But uh, we got ourselves legendary boxer, George Foreman. George Foreman. Awesome glove right there, Black Everlast. Check out this COA, this is cool. It's got his personal uh, hologram on there. So he's got his old guarantee of authenticity, George Foreman tag, guarantees that the signature on the corresponding item is authentic and was personally autographed by him. So you've got, an, you've got a JSA as well as his hollow right there on the bottom, which will match the tag up here on the top right corner of his guarantee of authenticity. Very cool hit, George Foreman. George Foreman, that's a really nice um, signature as well. So let's find our winner. Let's find our winner. I have a, I used to have a George Foreman tiny grill when I was in college. Had it right on my, uh, 
right in the old kitchen top there. We, we still, my wife and I still use ours. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Four five top spot is going to be Taylor B. Taylor B is taking home the George Foreman autographed black everlast glove. That's an awesome hit. That's sweet. Taylor, congrats. Headliner George Foreman. George Foreman, you guys still use yours, Joe? We do. <laughs> they're, they're a pain to clean, but they, yeah, they my get, wife loves it. They get a little yeah. dirty, right? Yeah. It's kind of greasy. Yes. But so worth it. Because it's oh. done in the five minutes. MD Caps, that's Taylor says, I love cooking. He's very excited about there this hit. Go. That's a great hit. Because of the cooking, not the box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on, let's check. Evan says, have the two complete helmets filled? We will check on that right now. Looks like we filled up complete helmet number one. Evan is in. Vincent is in as well for two spots. Michael Gravely, Michael Walker, Derek Pitch, and Steven are in for complete helmet break number one. Now, this break's a little bit different. We are going to randomize the names first and put them into the respected NFL divisions. This is a divisional break. So if you guys would like to, give me a box number for the complete NFL helmets. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Boom, 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 boom. George Foreman. Very cool. Very, very cool. Michael, bottom spot, Steven, top spot. Complete helmet break, number one. Here we go. You guys would like to give me a box number? Hold on, give me one second. I'll be right back. Set these outside for Steve. We have a box number for the helmet. We have box number 57. Evan, thank you. 57. My feet are soaked and freezing from work. Need something big. <laughs> Evan, thank you for joining us during the uh, work hours. <laughs> We posted knockout number three. Twelve fifty a spot for that. Uh, Vinny says, "Can you check on something for me? I tried to buy the last two spots for complete helmet one. It said sold out when I submitted payment, but it looks like I was charged." Uh, Vinny, we have you for two spots there in the break. Oh, you might have tried to buy the last two spots. Uh, Vinny, we'll check on. It could be helmet number two. Give us a second. Let me rip this. You are in this break. Correct, you are. Let's check on what you got. Let's see what we see for you. Have Garrett give us a heads up. Back at COA. Back at COA, we have ourselves a San Francisco 49er. Nice hit. San Francisco 49er, a Pro Bowl linebacker. Pro Bowl linebacker. And we have the NFC West for Vinny C. Vincent, good hit there. One of the two spots he did get. Please tell me number one. Fred Warner. Fred Warner. Did I say his name? <laughs> Fred Warner. How about that? All right. Fred Warner. Pro Bowler for the San Francisco 49ers. Probably important. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Robert? Robert, we have the new uh, baseball boxes posted. We have Tops Tier 1. 
Tops Tier 1 is up on the website right now. Cool. Jovan wants number 16 for a personal. Jovan, number 16 for the personal box. You got it. All right. That goes to the NFC West for Vincent C. There you go. Nice hit, Vincent. Okay. Robert, close it out. Thank you, Robert. All right. Let's do uh, – we got Robert closing us out. Adam C. is in. We will do a quick uh, card break. And we have a personal for Jovan. Uh, Joe, can you grab number 16 for the boxing gloves? For Jovan's personal. 16. All right, let's do it. We got Tops Tier 1 Baseball. I'm excited about this product. New product for us. Just listed it today. Should be fun. Let me grab a box. Let me grab a box. Which one? Tops tier one, two autograph cards and one relic card per box. Vinny, we did not see a second order for you, but uh, if you have an order number, uh, you know what? It said something else. Got a couple guys email. Let's uh, keep it going here. Thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. Personal box number 16 is coming up for Jovan. Yes, Evan, we posted them to the website uh, actually today. All right. Here we go, guys. Good luck. Tops tier one baseball. Let's see if we can get some, some heat here. Uh, 125 per box, Evan. 125 a box on the boxing gloves. Oh gosh, I'm all over the place. Let's get the divisions first. All right, here we go. Six times on the dice roll to get everybody the random MLB divisions. And then we'll open that box up and see what our hits are. Good thing I did it before we ran the box. All right, guys, good luck. Thank you for the fill. Adam, Robert, thank you guys for jumping in and joining us here. Tops Tier 1 Baseball. Tops Tier 1 Baseball. Let's do this. Uh, Jovan says he's looking for Mike Tyson. I already got Pacquiao and Mayweather from you guys. Nice. Jovan's got a decent little boxing collection coming along. Love to see that. You don't see a lot of guys collect boxing gloves, but I do like to see it. That's cool stuff. All right, here we go. Should be two autograph card and one relic card inside. Here we go. Right, be very careful. Don't want to damage the product. That's goal number one. All right, we're going to do it. Do it this way. First hit is going to be a autographed Nolan Ryan, number to 50, Texas Rangers Nolan Ryan. Nice hit. Nice hit, Robert. Beauty. That's awesome. On card auto, 42 of 50 for the Rangers. You just received a top certified tier one autographed card from 2020 tops tier one baseball. Nice. Awesome. That is really cool. Jeez. That's really, really cool. Second card is going to be a jersey patch for Yuri Guriel. Houston Astros, 347 out of 395. Some interesting numbering on that. That is a jersey patch, one color jersey patch. Adam says, feel like it's me versus Robert Turley in every card break, except <laughs> he has multiple entries against my lone one. I'm uh, sorry, Yuli Guriel. Yuli Guriel for the Astros. That's AL West. And that goes to Robert. And our final card is going to be Jorge Soler. Jorge Soler. Tops Tier 1 on card auto 159 of 299. Like that. Jorge Soler. He's a good player. Slugger. Yeah, he's a stuck. Former Cubs. Unfortunately, the Cubs lost him. So we'll do a quick recap. How about this card? A little 
Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan on card auto at 50. I'm a big fan of that card. We have Yuli Guriel, jersey patch. And then our third and final on card auto is Jorge Soler. Not bad. Good looking product. I like the gold jerseys and everything looks good in this product. I'm a fan of this. Let me put this to the side. We'll get this stuff shipped out. Sword and shipped. Guys, thank you for the fill on this. That's an awesome product. I'm a fan of this. That. And then we will do a quick personal for Jovan. Put this away really quickly. We will get another one of those posted. Another one of the tops tier one uh, baseball card breaks. I'm a fan of that product. That looked really clean. I'm a, I'm a fan of the designs. I mean, there's big autos on there. We pulled a Nolan Ryan. A name we really have never seen before in the breaks. Uh, Gare Bear Donnie Fan Club in the chat says, Break the gloves, Donnie. Give the people what they want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tops tier one, number two is posted. Jovan, let's see what we got for number 16. Number 16. We got Jovan, we got a personal. 16 of 20. Here we go. Here we go. Knockout series. Giving the people what they want. They want us to break the gloves. We're doing it. Jovan, good luck. Thank you, man. Let's see what we got for you. Let's see what we got for you. Sealed right there on the bottom. Oh, we're showing that seal. Here we go. We have a JSA COA. And our boxing glove hit for the personal is. Well, this is cool. A lot of ink on this one. I'm a fan when they, they blow it up with the ink. We have Ray Mancini. Ray Mancini autographed boxing glove signed in silver. What an awesome piece. Look at all that ink on it. You familiar with him, Joe? Uh, yes. Actually met Ray Mancini many, many years ago, yes. Uh, little guy, but, uh, tough, tough dude. Uh, he was a lightweight. Was he? Yeah, but he was a very cool dude. Where'd you meet him? Uh, years ago, I worked at a radio station, and this was before you were born, Donnie, I think, <laughs> I think. Um, uh, but, uh, he was doing some promotional stuff. Cool. And we had, like, a mixer thing on the beach or something, and, uh, met him. Very cool. Yeah. Boom, boom. Five, five. Five, five. Yeah. But he, he'd break in. He'd break in, too. Oh, I'm sure. I wouldn't mess with him. Yeah. No, he, Ray, he, boom, boom, man, senior. Yeah. It's even got boom, boom on the glove, too. It's awesome. So you've got the Ray on top, and then boom, boom, and then Mancini underneath. What a sweet. great auto. It's a fantastic, sweet. fantastic piece. Jovan, congrats, man. I double-checked. I got charged to 70 for the last two spots. I never got a confirmation. Okay. Vinny, no problem. Taken care of right after the show, okay? Jovan, congrats. What a great piece that is. Vinny, uh, hit me up quick. Email me when you can after well and I'll chat with you after the break's over. Because there's some uh some information I wanna I wanna tell you. I just want to make sure I have it all written out for you so you can understand. Brad Reeve in the chat. Hey, I learned a new term today. The Oklahoma tuxedo. Boots, jeans, sport jacket, and a cowboy hat. The, that's the Oklahoma tuxedo, is that right? I'll tell you what. <laughs> that's fantastic. That's not that's never a bad look. No. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. You gotta be a certain cool to pull that oh, off. It doesn't take a normal human being to pull that off. Yeah. You gotta right. You gotta be that guy. You gotta have it. <laughs> I can do that, Donnie. Ah man. <laughs> 55, 56, 59, 58, 60. Okay. 59, 58, 60. 59, 58, 60. Okay. All right. Do we have a box number? Oh, a big belt buckle too. That's <laughs> there you go. That's very important. <laughs> the belt buckle is by far the most important piece to that puzzle. 
All right, here we go. We have complete helmet, complete helmet number two, complete helmet number two. Six times on our dice roll, Paul up to Michael. Evan says 60, 175 UA cash during the naughty or nice drawings. Do we have to redeem that, or is that already uh, in use in my account? Adam, we are going to send that out uh, mass at once, so you'll have that in your account. Do not have it uh, as of right now, but we are gathering the information from all the breaks, and we will be sending that out to you guys. No problemo. So it shouldn't be there yet, but it will be, Adam. And thank you for, for reminding us. We have to make sure that we do that. Okay. Number 60. Number 60 was just a lot. A lot of bricks. Right, here we go. MD Cap says, I, was I would literally I would literally never get off this site once you guys start doing hockey breaks. Ooh. That's going to be you, Joe. I want to hear that. That's going to be you, Joe. It's your guy. Awesome. 60 to 65. Good luck, guys. Here we go. Adam, thank you, man. Thank you for jumping in for your support for the room. Trying to tackle Mr. Robert Turley in the card breaks. It's a tough task. It's a tough task. Here we go. Let's see what our hit is going to be. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Beckett COA. MD Caps is a big Caps guy. Referring to the Washington Capitals. Uh, oh, yeah. Would that be Caps? Mm -hmm. I like this helmet a lot. This is cool. We got ourselves in Oklahoma State. I'm sorry. Ohio State. <laughs> Ohio State, Marshawn Lattimore. Nice. Oklahoma State. This, I like it because it comes with these these stickers that you can pop on there, too, if this is your piece. This goes to the NFC South, being that he is a current New Orleans Saints corner, and he's a stud. That goes to Mike C. Nice hit, Mike. There we go. There we go. Ohio State, shut replica. Marshawn Lattimore. Still in it. Actually, they just got eliminated by the Buccaneers, huh? Yeah. Just got eliminated by the Buccaneers. Sad little send-off for Drew Brees, but Marshawn Lattimore, one of their better defensive options. He was a defensive rookie of the year in 2017. Marshawn Lattimore. Mike, nice hit. Congrats. That's a good one. All right, let's see where we're at. Let's see what we got. We got uh, uh, Bill's Mafia. That's our platinum helmet break. A double box break is posted for break number one. That has three spots remaining. Uh, we also have knockout boxing glove number three. Derek Pitch is in on that complete. Helmet number three it just got posted. We have a ton of stuff posted right now to the website. Looking to fill up a couple more breaks for this afternoon's run. Thank you guys for your support thus far. Having some fun here. Myself, Joe, talking sports, talking Ray Boom Boom Mancini. <laughs> All right. Uh, Adam, Adam uh, Senaviva, just a quick heads up. You can email customer service at ultimateautographs.com for a quick update for on your uh, UA catch. So I'll put that in the chat. Okay. Yeah, Adam, hit up customer service at ultimateautographs.com and they'll give you a status update on that UA cache as soon as possible. Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Five foot four and a half. Born March 4th, 1961. Total fights 34, 29 wins, 23 by knockout. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh, there's a documentary made about him, too. The Life. It's called The Good Son. I like that there's a lot of boxing movies. Right, there are. Boxing kind of, you know, for a sport dominated by, you know, you think of boxing, you think of Ali, Tyson. All the surrounding pieces have great, you know, movies and documentaries and things like that. Is that, I don't know, it's an yeah. interesting... It's an interesting thing. Just like the, the support pieces to what boxing has become is very important in the sport. 
Uh, MD Cap says next glove is going to be Mike Tyson. Okay, that'd be awesome. Love to pull Mike Tyson. Adam says any chance of you guys getting UFC merch? That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Very difficult to find as a, uh, you know, the, the UFC signings are very uh, far and few in between. The most recent one I have seen uh, is John Jones, and that was last year's Chicago Autograph Show. So, you know, there's not a ton of stuff out there, but that would be really, really cool to see some UFC pieces. I'm familiar with the UFC. I, can, I may be able to get by. I know a couple guys. Okay. Uh, you know what I want to get more, LOL? Oh, you know I want to get more. You know I am. I got to talk to my wife. You guys going to be on tonight. Jovan, we will. We will. We will be on tonight. Thomas, I have an update for you for your shipping. Your items should be there Friday or Saturday. Checked with my shipping guy this morning when I got in here. And you know what? There's fights right now. There are UFC fights going on right now. Mm -hmm. On uh, Fight Island, I think they're fighting. Okay. Fight Island. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, I think so. The Some UFC stuff. Dana White stuff? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think Dana White, Dana White puts all that together. I think it's not it's no one big right now though. I think it's uh started at eleven. Oh, Itihad Arena. That's I don't know any of these guys. But again, another sport where the supporting pieces kind of make up the history, you know? Mm-hmm. Is that a big one, Adam? A bigger one? I just saw the Max Holloway fight. That was great. Okay, cool. A couple guys reaching out to the email. I will get back to you guys as soon as we're done here. Get some information. Let's see what else we can fill up. See what else we can fill up for this afternoon. We did post the second tops tier one. Not big, but should be good. Definitely could have been on the main card for McGregor versus Poirier this Saturday. That'll be a big one. Connor McGregor, Dustin Poirier will be a great fight. Now, McGregor always comes with a big price tag. That'll be a pay-per-view one. <laughs> Sometimes you get the ESPN Plus ones, and if you're a member, you can get them on ESPN Plus. Uh, some fights are free. I think the Max Holloway one recently was on like ABC, which is awesome to see, because a lot of those big fights and stuff you got to pay a, a heavy, you know, heavy ticket for it to even watch them on TV. So you can go to a bar or whatnot, but you know, with the times right now, you really can't. You know. Let's see what else we can fill up for this afternoon. We posted tops tier one number two. We have a jersey break. We have jersey two. Five spots left. Uh, we have the Bills Mafia double box break with two spots remaining. That is a 106 per spot, and that's two platinum helmets in that break. Knockout number three, Jazz, Jimenez, and Derek are in. Seven spots left. Complete helmet number three. Bills Mafia number two will be a single box break. Jersey number three, uh, Panini Prism is posted. Bowman HTA is posted, and Bowman Hobby as well. J. Deem says Clubber Lang, Apollo Creed, Rocky Balboa. That would be awesome to get those. <laughs> Little Rocky Balboa. Balboa. Alright. Thomas, just looking again, it looks like it'll be their Saturday. Saturday delivery, okay? Thomas, MD Cap says, can you stack your UA cash? Uh, it's a great question. You can. You can. You can use your UA cash all at once if you'd like. Vinny, thanks, buddy. I'll check it out. Could do like a celebrity series. How do you find the win? I mean, we can do top spot. We can do top spot. That'd be pretty cool. Some celebrities on specific items. There's just not a ton of autograph signings right now. There's really none, so that stuff is really hard to obtain. Because once people have that stuff in their collection, 
the celebrities, they tend to keep that stuff, as I would. Awesome collector's pieces. Sure. Matt Chandler, ever do any golf breaks? Matt, I wish. <laughs> I wish we could do some golf product, man. Someday, maybe. Someday, maybe. I would love that. I would love that. Um, as of right now, we don't, and we haven't. We just don't have the available product for our golf series. But, Joe, we've blown that out of the water. I think yeah, we would that would do. be awesome. That would be fantastic. Yeah. We got a tournament this weekend, too. Not the Sony. Sony was this past week. Kevin Na. Mm -hmm. Kevin Na, champion. Kevin Na is an interesting individual. I love him. He is. He's great. Um, what's this weekend? I know we got some, some bigger names. Oh, Tiger Woods. Back surgery. Looks like he will not be ready to play for yes. for uh, for a couple of weeks. Uh, he's, he's aiming for the Masters. Okay. I mean... Tigers got to be at the Masters. Yeah, right? I've I've got a Jim Cantori signed jacket. LOL, that's my most random piece. <laughs> Jim Cantori, the, the announcer. For I gotta look at that. That sounds so cool. The meteorologist. Yes, Wait. right. Is that on the Weather Channel? <laughs> yeah, that's him. That's him. Is he the muscle bound guy? Oh no no yeah yeah Grayson said in the chat the guy they sent into the hurricanes. Yeah the muscle muscle bound guy. Yeah he's pretty big. Looks like Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Garrett have a a striking resemblance. <laughs> strong strong man. Strong. If he, if Jim's in your city it's bad that's hilarious. <laughs> People think this looks like Garrett. I no I I'm, I could see I just him. made the the, the, the oh, strong I get you. strong reference. This isn't Jim Cantori, the big muscle-bound guy, right? He does seem like a like a bigger guy, yeah. Let me put him up on the screen. You guys let me know what you think. Always wears the tight uh, golf shirt, kind of. He, in a couple pictures here, he's got... Uh, like just the Weather Channel logo, but... Right. It would be like the... He's a pretty big guy. Yeah, he that's is a, He's a big guy. Let me put it on the screen. Because I was accused of looking like Flat Stanley a couple <laughs> breaks ago, and I put the Flat Stanley up on the screen, so I'm going to put on this guy and see... If you guys think he looks like Garrett. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> Garrett, you let me know what you think. I think you should take it as a compliment. Oh, it is a compliment. <laughs> there he is, right on the middle of the screen there. <laughs> All right. I don't have any memorabilia other than my own. I hit an albatross last year, so I signed my own Ooh, ball. Matt, that is awesome. Go. An albatross is almost more rare than a hole-in-one. Double eagle? That's a double eagle. Yep. That's a double eagle. They are both guys. Yeah, that's true. They are both men. <laughs> uh, Garrett says, I'm not bald, but I see it. That's funny. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got three Bills Mafia boxes. We did fill up our double box break. If you guys would like to give me two of the three boxes, we will run a little double platinum helmet break here. I'm not bald, but I see it. I love it, Garrett. Hey, hold on. <laughs> hold on to there you have. I need to take good pride in that flow of yours, and I like it. All right, here we go. Bill's Mafia, number one, a two-box break. We got 38, 39, and 40 left in this series. <clears throat> Way wide. And close. I'm going to bring these in home. You guys want to give me two box numbers? We did post another top uh, tier one baseball as well if we want to get that filled up. That's a fun product. And that's brand new for us. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, and forty. Our final three boxes. So we got uh, we have a little bit of a debate going on right now in my household. One of my cousins is selling Girl Scout cookies. Now, what is the best? What is the best Girl Scout cookie? They keep coming up with new flavors, <laughs> and that's just more awesome. Puts a wrench in the plan. <laughs> Puts a wrench in the plan. 
I've always been a fan of the tagalongs. There you go. Tagalongs are always my favorite. I mean, thin mints. Can't go wrong with thin mints or tagalongs. All right, Johnny Cav says randomize. Let's randomize. Samoas for sure. Two people with Samoas. I did not expect that <laughs> at all. Did not expect the Samoas. Four, five, and six. Top two, 38 and 40. 38 and 40, let's do it. Thin Mints, I can see Thin Mints. Thin Mints are a, pop, a fan favorite. Samoas. Garrett says Samoas too. Wow. I don't see the popularity with Samoas. That's the one with the coconut. Surprise leader in the clubhouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. Good golf pun. Look at this, we got Samoas, Samoas, and Thin Mints. What? <laughs> People coming out of the woodworks. <laughs> Haven't heard from them all, all break, and now we got some uh, Samoan comments. I love it. Ooh, a Girl Scout mystery box. <laughs> yeah. Top spot wins. <laughs> this is box 38. 38 of 40. Here we go, guys. Good luck. Double box break for our Bills Mafia. Platinum Helmet Series. First one's a cool one. Can't show you the COA. It's got his name all over it, but take a look at this helmet. Oregon Ducks. Shut Authentic. Quarterback for the Oakland Raiders. Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota for the Ducks. Heisman 2014. Goes to the AFC West for John Calf. I said Johnny Calf. Bills Mafia number one on the double box break. Samoas. Mm. This is a good signature here. That's a good one. Thank you. Marcus Mariota. You know, got a little bit of playing time this year after Derek, Derek Carr went out with a groin injury, did fine, and uh, they went right back to Derek Carr the next game. Interestingly enough, didn't get a ton of playing time this year. I mean, Derek Carr wasn't playing bad. Wasn't playing bad all year. Uh, they're in a tough division. Chiefs obviously come out of that division every year, so you got to be really good to come out of that division, or get a wild card spot in the or get a wild card spot in the AFC. Wild card spot. Oh man, forty. Got to be really good. But one of the most entertaining football games of the year was their game against the Jets. Oddly enough, Derek Carr last second touchdown. Uh, against the Jets. Henry Ruggs, the recipient. All right, let's see what we got. Box number 38. Here we go. Oh, nice. JSA COA. We got ourselves a Denver Bronco. Denver Broncos. Five-time All-Pro. Rick Upchurch. Wide receiver. That ROF 14 inscription means he is in the Broncos Ring of Fame and was inducted in the class of 2014. So a very popular break for the class of 2014. Here we got the Heisman Trophy winner and the Ring of Fame inductee for the Broncos. Johnny Cav, nice hits, man. Great punt returner. One of the best in NFL history, Rick Upchurch. Nice. Yeah. There you go, Joe. Sweet. Sweet. Love it, Joe. It's a fire hit. <laughs> sure is, Ed. <laughs> Eclipse Speed Authentic. That is indeed what the kids say. Fire it. <laughs> uh, Matt Chandler, when can we see some college jersey breaks? Ooh. That might take a while. It might take a while to obtain, but never a bad idea. Never a bad idea. That would be cool. That might be fun. Can we get Joe? Can we get a Joe break? Soon enough. Yes. Uh, I think we are planning for Tuesday. Tuesday next week we'll have a little Joe on, on camera. But uh, for right now, Joe is relatively new, learning the ropes a little bit. What goes on, how things go. All right, guys, we'll give it a few more minutes, see if there's anything else you guys would like to jump into. See if there's anything else you guys would like to jump into. If not, we appreciate the support for the live breaks. How can soon? Wow. How soon can we expect these hockey breaks? Uh, you know what? It's, it's a great question. <laughs> We'd love to get them sooner rather than later. I don't want to put a time frame on it. 
uh, in terms of days or, or maybe a week or so. I don't want to say that because I don't want to be incorrect. Then I look like a fool. Uh, <laughs> nobody likes that. <laughs> so uh, MD counts, I would say we're working on it, and uh, we should expect those sooner rather than later. It's a very safe answer <laughs> for you. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited about what's in the future. I mean, Joe, you know, you're a big hockey guy, you know, a little bit more of the historical things. Um, and we're excited about, about that stuff that we have coming up. So, for right now, however, we have some more complete helmets, Bills Mafia, some jerseys, knockout boxing gloves. We have a couple of different card products, the Tier 1 Baseball, Bowman HTA, and Bowman Hobby, as well as Panini Prism Football. If there's anything else you guys would like to jump into, please let me know now. If there's a personal you guys would like to snag, do it now, and then give us a box number. So that way we don't sign off here and we got to uh, either wait till tonight or jump back on. Give it a little bit of time. We'll be ready to rock and roll. Guys, thank you very much for all your support. You ate live breaks. This stuff from this afternoon ships today. Ships today, which is an awesome, awesome feature that we have for you guys. Uh, Steven Shipping is working his tail off right now to get this stuff boxed up and shipped. Looks like we have, what are we looking at? Knockout three? No, knockout three. We got two spots left to go. Two spots left to go. Taylor is pushing for that. We can fill up that last boxing glove for this afternoon. How are you? Good. How about Doing okay. I'm in the mood for some Thin Mints. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always in the mood for Thin Mints. <laughs> thin Mints. Uh. Thin Mints, Samoas. What's some other? What's the one with the, is there one with like a raspberry Ooh. little filler? Ooh. Yeah. It's like a little nugget of raspberry. Am I wrong? Could, you could be right. I mean, I'm sure there's... There's plenty. So who's, who's selling these in the family? So I have a, a cousin who is cousin. selling some. Let's see. What do we got on our website? When's lunch, Joe? Now. Joe, yeah, let's go oh. now. We'll get them on the stream. Uh, Samoa's shortbreads. Oh, the caramel ones. We have caramel. Man. Yeah, there's more flavors now than I've ever seen. Dosey dos were pretty good mm -hmm. when I was they work. younger, but I don't see raspberry. I, I once saw a girl selling Girl Scout cookies outside of a pizza joint, and I thought that was marvelous thinking. Jeez. Right? You get your pizza, and then you got your dessert. Right. So she was on it. Fantastic. She was market. probably Girl, Girl Scout of the Month. That, that <laughs> yes. Week. She won. Yeah. Whatever they're trying to win, <laughs> she won. I can't tell you. There doesn't look to be a restaurant. Toffee. Woo! Let's wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch time. <laughs> Tag alongs. Another shout out there for the Dol Dolce de, de Leche. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's, that's awesome. Caramel one? Yeah. Dolce? Is that how you say that? Dolce? Uh, or be dul Dolce de Leche. Dulce. Dulce, <laughs> you're right. Dulce. Dulce de Leche. I love that. I love the little, little spin <laughs> Senor Donnie, very good. <laughs> Senor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's fill up this knockout three before I say something dumb in Spanish. <laughs> How about a Girl Scout cookie stand out of a weed dispensary shop? Those girls are big. Brain. You've seen that. You've, you've told me you've seen that in real life. That they would bring in just abundance of cash. You see, not real. I mean, that's amazing. They did an ice cream of the Dulce de Leche, and it was fire. There you go. <laughs> it was fire. Hey, it was fire. All right, we got one spot left in knockout number three. 
One spot left, knockout number three. Grayson says he's seen that a few times in Colorado. Girl Scout cookies hanging out where dispensaries are. Ah. Hey. <laughs> That's genius. Smart kids. <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> All right. If you guys are in the break, we're going to close out this knockout number three. If you guys would like to give me a box number, we have 10, 12, and 14. 10, 12, and 14 for the knockout boxing glove. Seems to be a great, great series. Hot commodity right now. Hopefully, we can pull something fun. Grayson says 14. Grayson, thank you very much for calling out the box number. As soon as we get that closer, magic, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Doing a quick scan of what we have left. So we're going to close out boxing glove number three. we got so we got going on today Blackhawks 0-3 with a tie so we got a tie we got a tie <laughs> that'll work for them we did not give up more goals than we scored <laughs> it's big yeah OT loss so OT loss they got a point we'll take the point they got their first point oh there's a great video right now on ESPN because they did the uh, the uh, Phil Rivers retirement kind of a segment on ESPN. They put up the best of Philip Rivers trash talk <laughs> on ESPN. You guys gotta watch. That's it's fantastic. Great. You guys gotta watch. It, the interesting part about Philip Rivers is he doesn't curse. Never says a curse word. So you know that. Yeah. I, it's very interesting to like to see what he substitutes right. curse words for, and it's all it's always something fun. All right, here we go. JD says, any new series going to be posted for the weekend? Spent my break money on a new bat for my son for travel baseball, Will. <laughs> Thank you for that. He probably, hopefully it's a home run or two <laughs> for you. Um, any ideas? New series for the post? Yes, we should have a new platinum series, a new complete helmet series, new jersey series, and a new mini series posting for this weekend as well as uh, and maybe one or two more, depending on how we, how we do with these boxing gloves. These may be posted. Robert Turley says closed. We are closed. Jazz, thank you for closing it out. Here we go. Boxing glove 14 to 20. Fourteen, here we go. Seal on top. Let's do it. JSA COA. Top spot wins. We find the winner after we look at the item. Right, we got ourselves a red Everlast Boxing Glove. It is. This is Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes. Interesting one. Got to do some research on Larry Holmes quick. Former uh, heavyweight champ of the world. Okay. Larry Holmes. Oh yeah. Was an is an American American former professional boxer who competed from 1973 to 2002. He grew up in Easton, Pennsylvania, which led to his boxing nickname of this is an awesome nickname, the Easton Assassin, which ties directly into the ba baseball bat comment that Jay Deem said earlier. As Easton makes very popular baseball bats for kids. <laughs> How awesome is that? Yeah. Let's see who wins the Larry Holmes autographed boxing glove. Let's do it. 
Larry Holmes, kind of an interesting hit there. For a certain audience, this boxing glove series uh, definitely tends to be. You got your boxing knowledge up. How awesome is this? Four, five, number six. Our top spot is going to be Joe L. Joe L is taking that one. Larry Holmes autographed boxing glove. Congrats, Joe. Nice hit. Larry Holmes. His record 69 and 6. 1992, he upset the undefeated 1988 Olympic heavyweight champion Ray Mercer, but lost a 12 round decision to Evander Holyfield in a title fight. Holmes got a last title shot in April 1995, uh, 1995 at the age of 45. Wow. Yeah. One of five guys ever to beat Muhammad Ali. Oh, wow. Yeah. So big time here. He's 71, Larry Holmes. This is, it's another interesting thing. When I searched Larry Holmes, like three or four search engines came up. For, search engine suggested me to look up his net worth. Apparently he made a lot of money in his lifetime. As boxers typically do if they hang around for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I.E. Floyd Money Mayweather. I love that red glove. Yeah, the red That's glove cool. is really cool. I like it. And the headliner, Tyson, is on a red glove. So I thought we had pulled the Tyson. Sweet. Larry Holmes, one of five people to beat Muhammad Ali. I love that tidbit. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate that. All right. Well, it looks like we have Robert Turley closing out another card break. We got tops tier one break number two. Let's get everybody their random divisions. And we'll run it. Let's see if we can pull something good in this one. Last one wasn't bad. Nolan Ryan, Jorge Soler. But well, we got two autos and a, and a memorabilia card, or a relic, is how they like to call those. Patch cards, jerseys, things like that. They call it a relic so they can put a variety of items into that swatch and call it a relic card. So it's almost more beneficial for the customer for them to call it a relic because that gives them more options in terms of what they can put in there and call it a relic. You'll see like pieces of uh, the base. I've seen that before in Tops Tier 1, which is really cool. I've seen like glove pieces, hat pieces. It's all really cool stuff that comes out of Tops Tier 1. Let me snag another box from the old... Take this one. Let's do this one. Looks good. Right there. All right. Here we go. Good luck, guys. Tops Tier 1, box 2. Robert, thank you for the close. Appreciate it, man. Guys, we'll do a little final call here. If anybody else wants to jump in on anything or grab a personal, please do. And uh, if you'd like to grab a personal, please remember to give me your box number so we can rip that for you guys. Here we go. Two autographs and one relic card inside Tops Tier 1 2020. Let's see if we can outdo box number one. That's always what I like to say about card breaks. Can we can we outdo the previous? That wasn't even close. Here we go. Feels like a little bit of a thicker card in this one. So we're looking at maybe one of those bigger relic cards. All right, here we go. Open it from this side. Don't want to spoil any hits. First card is going to be a David Cohn. David Cohn on card autograph to 25 for the Yankees in the AL East. Robert Turley. Nice card. 11 of 25. On card auto signed in gold. Big fan of that auto. Matches the top and bottom trim of the card. Now our second card is going to be a jersey, Al Albert Alzale, little pitching prospect for the Cubs, rookie, rookie jersey patch card, 195 of 395, NL Central, going to Jeanette. Next card, ooh, Joe, we might have four cards in this pack. We have another, an extra jersey. Patch card in this box. First time I've seen four cards coming out of here since we started doing this product. 368 of 395, Shane Beaver. Shane Beaver for the Cleveland Indians. Nice hit for Robert. And our final card. Looks like it's going to be the auto. It is. It is a Yankee, and it is Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt, number 80 of 299 for the Yankees. Tier 1 talent insert. Luke Voigt, 80 of 299. Jovan says, I remember when Larry Holmes fought Butterbean. There you go. <laughs> I remember when Butterbean knocked out Johnny Knoxville inside a store on the 
Jackass. <laughs> I'll never forget that. You had to go to the hospital immediately. Star hits. Tops tier one, box two. David Cohn, Luke Voigt, two Yankees autos, and two patch cards for our next box. Not bad at all. Kind of a fun product. You really never know what you're going to get out of this product, which I do like. You're guaranteed two autograph cards. Well, I'm sure to say not guaranteed, but on average, two autograph cards and one relic. And this one we had two. So that's awesome. Good to see. And uh, Robert got three of the four. Jeanette snagged the Adbert Alzale uh, patch. Awesome stuff there. All righty. Guys, if there's anything else you'd like us to do, let me know in the chat. If not, we're going to sign it off right there and get ready for Garrett's 8 p.m. show. He'll be back here in just a few hours. Get this stuff set aside for Steve to sort and ship. Take care of the autos, of course. All right, there we go. Guys, thank you for all the support. Looks like that's going to do it for this afternoon. Had a lot of fun, though. Had a lot of fun. That was a fun break. Let's do a quick recap. We have uh, Garrett coming up here at 8 p.m. And, uh, Joe, I don't think you're here for that one, but uh, he'll be back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. right? Tomorrow. Got a show again tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Standard. I'll be here for that one. And then uh, we have shows at 8 p.m. tomorrow, Friday, 8 p.m., Saturday for two, Sunday for two. So a whole bunch of shows coming up here in the UA live break room. Guys, appreciate all the support from everybody here. And uh, we will see you guys in just a few short hours. Garrett is on 8 p.m. Central. Thank you very much for joining us. Joe, outstanding. Thanks, had a, Daddy. Had a lot of fun. It was fun. Let's, uh, let's rendezvous again shortly. And we'll open up some more boxes. But until then, guys, stay safe, take care, and we'll see you guys very soon.